So the CTC Link technical team released another strategy document last week, and this one centers around integration. And what that means is it's a strategy document around how we will integrate uh, applications into the PeopleSoft system or get data out of the PeopleSoft system into applications that we use on campus. Some examples of applications that we currently use are Azorus, a, a tool that uh, Outreach uses. Um, we also have Curricunet, which is a tool that is used to uh, pull in course uh, data and curriculum uh, on uh, courses that we have on campus. Uh, and so that's just a couple of examples of tools that we currently use on campus that do rely on data from our legacy system. And so in order for those applications to continue to function once we move to PeopleSoft, we need to figure out a way to get the same kinds of data out of the PeopleSoft system and put into these applications. And so the technical strategy team is working on ways for us to access PeopleSoft data so that we can make these applications continue to work. And one of the strategies they have um, around this is to um, create a, a separate kind of mirror database of the PeopleSoft system, uh, kind of similar to a system that we already have in place uh, called DSAE um, that allows us to access uh, data from the legacy system, but this, in this case it would be accessing the PeopleSoft data and then we'd be able to pull it into applications like Azorus or Cricunet. And so this strategy document really just covers um, you know, how they plan to um, allow people to connect to the system, ways to get data from the system, uh, things that they need to set up and put in place to make it easy for us to access data. One of the key pieces is, uh, is mapping uh, data. And so one of the great things that the state group is gonna do for us is um, they're going to map specific data elements that we, that we need for our applications. So for instance, if we need specific student demographic data, uh, we let the state group know so that they can map that data for us from PeopleSoft so it's easy for us to find and then connect our applications and pull that data out as needed. So really the mapping piece is gonna save uh, colleges quite a bit of time. So I'm really kind of looking forward to, um, to more information on these integrations because we do have quite a few applications that we do want to use uh, at once we implement uh, PeopleSoft. And so seeing how we can integrate those, those data sets will be very, very important. Uh, and if you're, if you're an application geek and you really like to read about uh, integrations, things like that, I'll post a link to the document in Yammer so you can take a look at it.